Let's talk Tanya for the 16th of Tammuz of a leap year. Let's summarize what we discussed in the last few days. Altareb explained that there's this idea that even after a person has done shuva, there is value to fasting because the fasting is a gift that we give to God which restores us in God's good graces as we were before we sinned. Even though the tshuva itself secures the atonement, but there's this extra layer, this gift, which is fasting. And that's why the mystics give us a whole, um, a whole program and they prescribe a certain amount of fasts to be fasted for different sins. Every sin is a different amount. The question, however, we had was, what if a person sins the same sin multiple times? So we said that there is two opinions. One opinion is that you have to fast only once that prescribed amount, no matter how many times that you sinned, and that covers everything. Another opinion is that, no, that you have to fast that amount of times for every single instance of the sin. And then Dr. Rebbe said that the accepted compromise is that we just do three times. Whatever the prescribed amount is, no matter how many times a person sin, the person sin 10, 20, 100 times, it doesn't make a difference. You fast three times that amount. In yesterday's Tanya, the Alter Rebbe said that today, generally speaking, we're not strong enough to fast anyway, so we do tzedakah. In today's Tanya, the Alter Rebbe says, but what if a person is just not satisfied with that? A person says, I want to do it. I want to do it all the way. I sinned. I want to make it up for God. I would like to fast. So the Alter Rebbe says, here's what you should do. And in today's Tanya, we're going to talk only about capital offenses. For example, um, violating the Shabbos. If a person is guilty of capital offenses, the Alter Rebbe says, you should fast one time the prescribed amount for that particular sin. But don't do it consecutively. Don't do it even close to each other. And the Alter Rebbe says, push off the fast for the winter when they're short days, so the fast is not going to impact you um, so, so greatly. And do, let's say, nine or ten times every winter. It'll take you a few years. It could take you maybe even ten years to do that entire thing, but that's fine. But we're supposed to do three times, not once. We're supposed to do three times the amount. Dr. Rebbe says, okay, the other two times, after you fast once, the entire, the, the entire uh, prescribed amount, the other two times, instead of fasting full days, fast half a day, fast until midday. And if you fast two days until midday, it's considered, for the purposes of, this, uh, of these fasts, it's considered as if you fast, fasted one full day. So therefore, you fast once the t- entire amount full days in the winter, and the other two times, break it up into half days and do double the amount. So in other words, you'll do four times the amount, but you're doing half days. How about sins that are not of a capital nature? And how about if you want to satisfy that opinion also that says that three times isn't enough, but you're supposed to actually fast once for every single instance of the sin? What about that? That the Alter Rebbe will address in tomorrow's Tanya.